As a child, I spent a lot of time with Grandpa, whom I loved so much. After his death, I discovered a photo of Grandpa in the attic when he was still young. He was wearing a uniform with a swastika. In history lessons, I learned what the swastika meant and understood. Grandpa was an officer of a dictatorship during the Second World War that directed cruel war attacks and murders against certain groups. Grandpa was a perpetrator. Grandpa often stroked my head. My dear grandson, with the same hand he had murdered people. My deepest shock remained unprocessed. Whenever people talked about war and discrimination, I had the feeling that they were pointing the finger at me, you're a perpetrator. I grew up and got a son. Subconsciously, I was afraid I could become a perpetrator. I could raise my son to become a perpetrator. One day, my son's class teacher said indignantly, someone has painted a swastika on the wall of the classroom. Please talk to your children about this. Shocked, I asked my son if he had drawn it. It wasn't me. I don't know who has drawn it, my son replied. Then that's fine. Can you explain to me why this symbol is not allowed to be drawn? Because the symbol is evil. If you can't explain why, then you don't really understand. Behind this symbol is an ideology that caused the Second World War and the murder of certain groups. We have to learn from history. That's why we mustn't say a bad word about these groups. Then why do you say about other groups that they evil terrorists or refugees want to take everything away from us? Learning from history means that we no longer allow murder and discriminations against any group. Can't we put these fear scenarios aside and look each other in the eye as human beings? My son's sincere gaze gave me hope. We can end the vicious cycle. All my life I had been looking for an enemy on the outside to find the solution to my complicated feelings. In reality, there was no enemy on the outside. The real enemy is the enemy image itself that I had created. The enemy images lead to warfare in the name of fighting the invented enemy, just as the National Socialists once declared certain groups to be the enemy and used these enemy images as justification for war attacks and mass murders. Instead of pointing the finger at others, I want to hold up a mirror to myself in front of other people. Show all my hurt, confusion and shame instead of denying them. If I can acknowledge all these feelings, I can strike a new path, create togetherness in compassion with myself and with others, advocate peaceful negotiations when we face international conflicts instead of rushing war attacks and arms shipments. In the name of true learning from our history, never again, anywhere, with anyone.